In the previous video, we saw how to create a query using the simple query wizard. If you come down to the create tab, we can see the two options which we have. We can create a query using query wizard and also query design. Query wizard is what we've already seen. And now we're going to see how to create a query in the query design. Although the context of creating a query remains the same, this is a different approach to creating a query. It is very similar to what we did in the tables, wherein we created tables, tables in the layout view and then we also created table in the design view. Very similar looking query design view that we're going to see now. And uh, let's click on query design. And as soon as you click on query design, you will find that we have this additional tab design coming up. As I told you, every object has its own uh, features. With tables came two tabs such as fields and uh, tables. When you click on design query, you will find that this design thing comes up. We're going to explore these things in the future videos. But as of now, let's just understand how to create a simple query but using the query design. Okay. Now, it is basically asking you to select the tables you want in this particular query. Again, I want the customers table and I want the contracts table. Once I've added the things I want, I can just click on close. So this is, the, it basically showed the tables with all the fields. And now we also have the area where we, this area is where the tables have come into picture. And this area that you see below is where we're going to work on the query. This section again, if you click here, it can be dragged. You can take it above, you can take it below according to the space requirement. Since these queries are not that, these tables are not that long, we can take this a bit above so that this space wherein we are going to work on the query is clearly visible to you. It is showing us certain features that this design query is showing us. We're going to explore them. But as of now, let's just understand what this is showing. These are the two tables with their relationship. As you can see very clearly, the primary to foreign key relationship is clearly shown over here. If you notice, there's a star sign above. If you double click on this star sign, let's see what happens. You can see that this customers with the star sign is available. This means that all the fields that are available in this customers table with the star sign are now in this particular query. All these fields are there in this query. To check this query, what you can do is, you need to click on this run button. As soon as you click on run, you will be able to see the result of the query, which is showing all the fields of the customer table. The ID, the name, the city, country, contact name, phone and email. This is when you want to select all of them. Okay. Let's go back to the design view. Since I do not want all the fields to be there, what I need to do is just once you see this dark black solid arrow, you just need to click on this and delete or you can manually delete. However, now which is the field that you require? You can select that field. Let's say I want from the customers table, I want the customers ID, I want the name, I want the city and I want the email. Okay, so as soon as you select them, this will show customer ID, table, customers. It has the details that we selected. Similarly, from the contracts table, let's say I want the product ID and the contracts amount. So we have all the information, piece of information that we want from these two tables. So again, we are working on multiple tables. Just have a look at what all you have selected customer name, ID, city, email, product ID and amount. Let's run this query and see. Okay, there is some data which when, when we do not delete the things correctly, this error could come. When you run this, you'll be able to see all the information that you had selected for. Customer's ID, name, city, email, product ID and the contracts amount. Let's get back to the design view and do a bit of modification. Let's say I do not want certain field. I realize that this email is what I do not require. So what you need to do is you can just directly delete the 
fields. You need to select it and click on delete. So as soon as you click on delete, that row will or that sorry, that column will go away. In case you want to add anything, if you want to add particular fields, even that can be done. We just, we have deleted the email. Let's just run it once again and see, you will find that the email is not available now. Let's get back to the design view. And if you want, you can add more fields as well. And let's say I want to add the sales date. Now, if you run, you will find that there's sales date as well. Correct. Coming back to the design view. If you want that the sales date is not at the correct position you wished for, you can just select this and you can drag it across wherever you want it. Let's say I want it to be dragged before the product ID. Once you see the black thick line where you want to place it, just drop it and you'll be able to see that the sales date is now ahead. Let's run this again and see and you'll find that the sales date is again in the is now ahead. Correct? Okay, so this is how you can create your query in the design view and also modify your queries by adding, deleting or shifting your columns in the or shifting your fields in the query. In the next video, we're going to see how we can sort data in your query. Now we need to save this query since we have input some data in this. When you click on this close button, it will ask you whether you want to save the changes to the design of query one and you would say yes and it will ask you what name you want to give to this particular query. Just for your understanding, I'm giving it customers in design view. We're going to work on this uh, query ahead as well. So we need to save it and we click on OK. As soon as you do that, the customers in design query in design view is available on the left hand side panel of your access database right here. When you open it, you'll be able to see it in the data sheet view. You can always toggle however, the, however you want to and make changes also.